Hey, so, remember Biome Guides, everyone? Yeah, me too, but it's certainly been a while. So then, let us rock on with the Rocky Land, shall we? Stingy spawning habits, territorial birds everywhere you look, actually useful turf, and plenty more awaits us. But yes, about them stingy spawning habits. Cause for whatever reason, the Rocky Lands are a biome absolutely notorious for not generating. And I don't know what it is, or particularly why that could be. However, I gotta say, it is quite a significant branch to not have. So you really better hope world generation is gonna throw you a bone. Here's the thing though, while the Rocky Lands branch may elude you, there are actually places to find smaller patches of it, like the Savannah, Forest, Grasslands, Rocky Lands branch here. And yup, I have never ever come up with a better name for it, but I do know that it's practically in every world. So, here's an option for ya. That, or the Mosaic biome of course. Yes, while the mosaic itself is indeed its own biome, a good portion of it typically has a stretch of rocky lands for the plundering. And all this to say, that while we will be covering a lot here today about the rocky lands, all of it may still pop up in these places outside of a purely generated one. So keep that in mind. So now, let us start picking apart the rocky lands itself bit by bit here. And speaking of picking things, rocky lands usually offer us rocks and flint for free, as minerals can just be found dotted on the ground all over the joints. And this is great for some quick early game tools if you can find the place. But who the bloody heck are we kidding, folks? We want our rocky lands biome for the real bloody rocks of this world. The biome is home to two types of boulders, normal ones as seen here, and gold veins. And normal boulders drop three rocks guaranteed, one flint with a 60% chance to provide another, mind you, and one niter with a 25% chance to drop an extra. So if you want the hard stuff, then a rocky lands is absolutely the place to be on the surface. Especially if said hard stuff glimmers and shines like a diamond, everyone. Now, it ain't actually diamonds, but gold is one of the most valuable resources around, and a rocky land is typically jam-packed with gold veins ripe with the stuff. Well, if you roll the 25% chance to get one extra gold, that is. Otherwise, you will be getting three rocks, one flint with yet again a 60% chance at another, and one gold each smash. But it's good stuff all around. But yeah, yeah, Beard, that's all the very straightforward stuff. What about some of the nitty gritty around these parts? Ah, uh, yes. So let's talk about these puddles of water then, folks. These are the locations of a naturally spawning mini glaciers, as yes, rocky lands biomes are the only places to house such things. But Beard, hold up. Glaciers spawn all the time with pangles, so what do you want about? Well again, if you heard me, I said naturally spawning, didn't I? Many glacier spawns in the rocky lands remain there forever and constantly cycle through their four, technically five stages throughout a year's worth of time within the game. Slowly growing as temperatures drop, of course, but actually melting when they're too high. Or, you know, when we purposely melt them with heat too, I suppose. Again, we cannot fully deplete these particular spawn points, but this could be useful in eliminating glacier spawn with pangles, so make note there. And yes, come close to, and all throughout winter, the Rocky Lands can be a haven of ice for us in order to make flingomatics, many crockpot dishes, summer gear, and plenty more. It's very, very nice. But folks, about them territorial birds I mentioned. Did I also mention that they are very tall ones? Now I love me some tall birds, and while I find them to be pretty rare outside of some special cases, if we are going to find them, it's gonna be in Rocky Lands. Now, this ain't a tall bird guide, but here are some tips. They do not enjoy even us looking at their nest funny, let alone getting halfway close to them. But manage to steal an egg, and Mama Bird is gonna chase you down for ages. Way longer than most other mobs in this game for sure. Still, I recommend you actually don't run and learn how to kill these abominations, as they respawn every two and a half days, and they lay their egg about a day after that. So, every two and a half to three and a half days, you could get two big meat and one egg per tall bird. So learn that it's two hits and skedaddle. That's the play. Get them while they're resting though at dusk or night, and get some free hits too. Good luck.
Oh, and while we're on the topic, I guess I should briefly mention that rocky turf is a common one found in Tallbird or Hound Fortress set pieces, so if a world happens to generate either one of those things, it is possible that it may land within a rocky land itself. So be prepared for that. However, tall birds ain't the only rats with wings, but actually not wings around, everyone. What's the buzz about buzzards? Well, more than you might think, actually. So perhaps maybe a specific guide on them is in the near future. However, for now, know that we can't see their general spawning areas due to their shadows on the ground. They are the types of mobs to fly away even if we're smacking them silly. They are attracted to seeds like many of the other birds of the world, and they are especially fond of meat, as that's usually what will really attract them, and they'll land for the stuff even. Oh, and fight for it too. But get too close to a buzzard that is eating, or wants to eat, and they'll squawk. This means they're kinda hostile on ya. So get even closer, and they'll really start to nip at ya. They don't really chase you, and are very easy to kite, so no real worries there. Heck. Half the time, they'll just kill each other too. But note that they'll drop a drumstick and have a 33% chance to drop a jet feather and morsel to boot. But speaking of, one last bird note. Crows will be the only birds to spawn on Rocky Land's turf, so be aware of that if you're hunting for specific feathers. That said, place a friendly scarecrow down within the biome to start having canary birds replace some crow spawns. And know that canaries provide way more interesting loot at the end of the day. But ah uh, yes, this useful turf I alluded to, I wasn't joking just to make a sale. Rocky Land's turf is actually very good, everyone. For you see, one piece of it plus a board equals a piece of cobblestone turf. And cobblestone turf increases our movement speeds by 30% when we're on it running about. So yes, even the ground in this place is worthy of note. So look down in appreciation. But maybe not for too long, mind you. For you see, rocky lands are potentially home to meteor fields, and thus are where meteor showers can occur. You'll know it to be true if you found an actual meteor boulder around, or just a bunch of scorched markings on the ground within these biomes. And you'll definitely know it if you see and hear great balls of fire raining down from above. Meteor showers are completely random, and meteor fields are not actually guaranteed, so I can't really help you there. However, note that they not only respawn boulders, which is quite helpful, they drop meteors for the mining of Moon Rock 2. Plus, you may even locate a suspicious boulder with the celestial orb inside of it. It's all neat stuff, but you're gonna have to learn about it elsewhere. Cause we gotta start wrapping up with some more not so guaranteed rocky land spawns, like grass geckos here. Now, grass geckos themselves are highly renewable through transplanted grass, but when spawned in packs within a biome like this, they are one and done, if you know what I mean. So while they do drop 0-2 grass and a leafy meat, which is now very, very useful, I would still advise you keep these packs alive for easy grass every two days after, of course, their tails regrow or pen them up for some grass gecko farms. Enjoy. However, our final focus on the day will be yet another special Rocky Lands generation, actually. The Spider Sanctuary. It is an unique Rocky Lands ranch that is home to lots of spider dens, as you can see, and actually has pieces of gold lying around the place. Found early, it is also an easy way to easily farm spiders for their loot. But if left alone for a while, things could get out of hand very quickly. So if you can manage it, go for it, cause yes, this is even more spider loot. But perhaps taking care of a few nests early on, if you do happen to get this branch, will be saving you trouble. Your choice though, have fun. And there you have it everyone. Possibly a surprising and enlightening look at what does seem like a very straightforward, easy to understand place that's actually got a lot going for it, even before you find it to boot. We can smash boulders, or have them smash us. We can steal eggs, or prevent the many birds from even having any more. Get grass in a grassless joint, and much more. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Pray for a rocky lands. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.